server, we have always had a really easy to use GUI and a very, very scriptable command line interface that's feature rich. But uh, let me start with the admin console today and uh, do a very, very quick browse through the admin console. So here I have uh, admin console running. I just started it and um, the first thing it, uh, I'm noticing is that it's asking me to register. And uh, um, the registration, of course, gets you content like um, Java EE tutorial second volume, or you might be able to try our detraced monitoring value add as uh, after you register. So uh, if you look at um, the left-hand navigation panel, it's a very familiar um, navigation panel that you have uh, seen in previous releases of Glassfish with some changes. The uh, tree node actually are using a more modern look and feel from uh, what we used to have in uh, our previous releases. So let's quickly take a look at uh, EJB container here. And if you notice, it has uh, EJB settings, but uh, no timer app because we are really running web profile which has uh, EJB Lite. And uh, let's go and uh, stop Glassfish, and then we will go from the profile to the full platform and then see what we can see, uh, what we'll see on the admin console. So let's go back and stop the domain here. And once the domain stops, I will go bring up the update tool. And then let's go find available add-ons and uh, look for Classfish Enterprise full profile. Select that and uh, click install. And when I selected that, it's actually going to come up with a list of other packages that will be installed. Click install and uh, it asks me to accept the license. I'm going to accept that and the download process has started. And going, uh, it's probably going to take about 15, 20 seconds. So uh, while it is downloading, uh, there is IPS includes dependency management. And uh, this one package that I'm trying to download is a meta package that uh, declares dependency on all the packages that are going to take you from web profile to the full Glassfish uh, distribution, which is a Java E platform. So uh, once the uh, download completes and uh, installation is over, uh, then I will go ahead and restart the server, and then we'll go take a look at the EJB container setting again. Meanwhile, let's switch to admin console and see the other uh, areas of node. So uh, Ruby container, uh, Glassfish now supports deployment of Ruby, and uh, Ruby is now part of uh, the default distribution, and you will be able to deploy Ruby and configure Ruby using that. Uh, you will notice a new network configuration that's uh, for uh, configuring Grizzly, which is the high-performance HTTP engine running behind Glassfish. And um, there is also another uh, update tool icon on the admin console where you can see all the installed packages and actually install some additional content. So let's go back here and see if our download has completed. It's almost uh, done. It's on 13 of 16, and the download just finished. So let's go ahead and quit the update tool here, and we will go back and start the server again. And uh, we have started, and uh, while the server is uh, Waiting to start. Let's reload the admin console. And uh, once the admin console loads, let's go back and see how the EJB container tab is looking. Okay, this, uh, as you might have noticed, the admin console actually no longer requires 
password, user ID and password to log in. It, um, it's obviously possible to do that, for, but for developer ease of use, we are uh, configuring the default to have no user ID and password. So let's quickly switch to EJB container here, and uh, you will notice that MDB settings and EJB timer service has been added to the EJB tab as well as some additional configuration for uh, the object request broker where you can see all the IIOP listeners. So Anil, uh, this demo was not only to show the usability of the admin console, which continues to be same as what it was in V2, in, and in fact better in some area, but also the pluggability of admin console as well as update center.